Hey guys, 26 from the back here, part two, because my video on my camera felt like cutting off at um, eight minutes for some stupid reason. And I was like only halfway through, so I wanted to fit it all in one video, and I did, but it's stupid, so whatever. Um, I know that. Um, I've got a couple comments before that all my movies are older movies and I get them all cheap. Well, I have to pay for all my movies. Like, no one buys any movies unless it's like my birthday, which is pretty soon actually, it's this month, or Christmas or something. No one buys me movies. I pay for my own shit. I get my paycheck and my little bit of money that I have left over from, you know, paying for bills and shit. I have to, I spend that on movies and it tends to be the cheap shit like dollars or five dollar movies so it can't always be brand new movies because I could pick out one brand new movie twenty dollars or I could get twenty dollar movies or the five for twenty or something like that so yeah some of that shit's older but some of the older shit's actually better than the newer shit just so you know some of the new shit sucks so just want to make that comment because people have been and, we, and my DVD updates aren't quite as big as some people, but you know what? I do what I can, and I've actually been doing a lot better than I. I used to have freaking videos where I'd have like two movies and an update for like a month, so I've been doing a hell of a lot better, and my collection's getting a lot bigger, so yeah. But I think I do pretty good. But yeah, I just want to make that comment. I guess, because I'm bored, and I'm not completely awake yet either. Um, so yeah, carriers, it's like about a virus, um, Chris Pine, like I said, I don't know what I got to finish, because my fucking video went cut off eight minutes. Anyways, about a virus, I think they're like, the turn the zombies or some shit, I don't know, it looked really fucking cool, I saw the trailer for it, and it looks really good, so definitely looking forward to watching that one, at least then. Um, so, yeah, carriers. This is another $99, $99 movie. That's Halloween 2 with Rob, the Rob Zombie one. Um, I asked them if they had the first one. They did not have the first one. They only had the second one. So, and we needed one more. Um, yeah, I needed one more. $99 one. So, and they didn't, they didn't have very many good choices for 99 I picked up Halloween 2. They want to get it anyways. Not as good as first, but this one is not from Blockbuster. This was from the pawn shop. My sister traded me this for a cop out because she wanted a cop out and she didn't want it for a while. And she didn't want to pay $13 for renting coffee. So I traded that for this because it looks pretty good and it's new. It has some special features and my dad hasn't seen this yet and I know he's going to like this. So yeah, town. Um. The newest American Pie movie, The Book of Love. I picked this one up last night on my break. Um, Cause Blockbuster's like, aunt, like Kroger connected to Blockbuster, so I just walk over there on break and look at movies and shit. Cause break is boring. But this is the newest one. This is like 11 years, set 11 years after the other ones. Um, and they're making another American Pie. And they probably don't care about American Pie movies, but making another one with the original cast from the first three. But that's pretty cool. I just like watching these because they're fun. They're just kind of something you just want. Something you can just pop in. And this is like perfect condition. So they're just fun to watch. Picked up Resurrecting the Champ. Um, my brother said this was good. And it was a book. It's got Samuel Jackson in it. So. And I just felt like buying another movie because I had another dollar. Picked up Stop Loss. Um, yeah, I've been wanting this for a while, and this is actually 99 at Blockbuster, but they had this for a dollar, probably because the case is all beat up or something, I don't know. They said there's some of these that they actually missed to put in the dollar section, but this was a dollar, so if you've seen that, let me know. I'm trying to beat this for eight minutes. Um, picked up my Super X girlfriend, because the other Cody at my work said this was actually a funny movie. And it, it was only a buck, so I figured, why the hell not? Blank disc, 20th Century Fox, whatever. 
Um, good movie. I enjoyed it. Picked up Rock and Roller, which I saw part of this on cable one day, and it looked pretty stupid. But it's got a lot of good people in here, like Rod Butler and uh, what's his name? I just Bella. Is that his name? I don't remember his name. From Takers and well, he's a really, really good actor. In my opinion. I don't remember his name. And then I picked up this last one, The Messengers. Um, this is one I went back for because I was like, I'm not picking that up. I mean, you know, it's a dollar. And I think I was running out of money anyways, but I'm like, I'm not going to get that because it wasn't that great. And it was like when I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go pick that up. So, I thought this was pretty good. I haven't seen the second one, but if no one believes you, how can you warn them? This was pretty good. It's got a couple special features on there. Commentary, which I've been getting into lately. Um... So this is pretty good. One that I regret not picking up was the remake of Black Christmas, which wasn't great, but it was good. And I didn't. I think I ran out of money, and I was gonna pick it back up. Um, but I probably should have picked it up instead of one of those. But I went back and didn't have it anymore. They sold it. I think it's their only copy. But it's cheap online, so I picked it up. Anyways, so that's all of them. Hopefully this video won't mess up. Um. I asked the lady at Blockbuster if they did the 99 cent Blu-ray deal on that when it when they did that, and they said they did not. So I didn't miss out on that because that's even that's like 20 minutes away from where I live, anyways. We know it's right beside my work, but it'd be like an hour, so it'd be like the gas would even be worth it. Um, but I asked them July 4th, and they didn't know anything about that, and they said they probably won't be doing it anyways. So, but they did do the 99 cent DVDs, so I was able to pick up a bunch. So. That's my DVD update, part two. If you watched part two, then you're awesome, because my video fucked up for some reason. So, see you guys later. Appreciate you for watching.